What's up guys? Welcome back to the Redneck TV channel and today we're gonna be doing another truck update. <laughs> Y'all, before I start this video, I just want to say, make sure you go subscribe to American Snuff. Big shout out to him. He's a pretty cool dude, and he makes pretty good videos. So, yeah, show him some love. Let's try to get another higher-end YouTube channel in the dipping community. Let's do it. All right, guys. I know I named this video, I Almost Died, you know, because I'm a clickbaiting sack of fuck. But I'm going to save that story for the last because it is about my truck, and it does kind of tie in with a truck update so I'm gonna save that story for the end so no this isn't a hundred percent clickbait you slimy asshole but first before we do anything on the redneck TV channel we gotta freaking pack us a lip ah, ah. We gotta take our retainer out yeah. today we're dipping on skull straight leaving in the comments what you dipping on and if you ain't got one in back one with me y'all <laughs> yeast. yeast infection cheers a little dip bump for you mm. Feeler. Uh. Oh. But today we're spitting in the keep it fucking American roadie. Sexy ass mud jug. Probably one of my favorites. Has to be. It's my favorite roadie at least. So if you want one of these badass spit tunes or any other mud jug on mudjug.com, feel free to use my promo code RNTV15. And also the clothing company KAAGear.com. You can use my promo code RNTV15 for 15% off over there as well. But the first thing I'm going to show y'all on this truck update is where I dented my damn truck. First I'm going to tell y'all the story. What I did was I was driving. I was going to go <clears throat> fishing to my old fishing spot but they have it blocked off because you know how people are these days. Once they find out something like a place they're like oh this place is cool but then little assholes trash it. They have sex, do drugs there so they have to ruin it for everybody else. So the place got locked with a gate. Right beside the gate there was a four-wheeler trail that was like goes around it and it goes real down low and then there's rocks all around you got to climb a bunch of rocks to get past it and i was like well fuck i'm gonna dag um four-wheel drive red f-150 huh i can make it but instead of being smart like investigating the area before i drive my nice truck through that rocky bullshit that's what i should have done i should have investigated the area before i drove through i just like a oh, fucking hell ran over a bunch of weeds and you know what was in the weeds piece of damn iron rebar about that big around and it was about waist high off the ground. And I was just driving and all of a sudden, boom, my truck just stops like that. I'm like, what the fuck's happening? I put the pedal to the floor, it goes, Ooh, and then I'm like, what the hell's happening? And it starts on coo coo coo, I hear popping. I was like, fuck that shit. Slammed it in reverse, did the same thing. Heard popping, I fucking put it in park. I went around the truck, see what the fuck's going on. I was thinking it was gonna be the worst thing ever. I was thinking my damn tire was gonna be like that, like completely sideways, broken. But then I walked around, I was like, what the fuck's going on? I look in between my tire and fender, there's a piece of fucking iron rebar about that tall stuck between my fender and my tire, deep into my truck, like that far through the tire. And I was like, how the fuck am I gonna get this out? So it took me a long ass time. I had to turn my wheel this way, go up a little bit, that way, that way, that way, just fucking took me a lot of Jimble jamble bull fuck. I don't even know what the hell I said, but it took me a long time to get out of that situation. And in the process, uh, when I was trying to get out the first time, when I put it in drive and tried going forward, I bent my fender because the power of my big old 4.6 engine <laughs> bent in my fender behind my door and I had to get a screwdriver and pry it out here. I'll just show y'all. I'm not sure if y'all can see the dents through the sunlight, like on the side of the fender, but my fender kind of collapsed in up here, but I did get like a plunger and a hammer and I kind of bent those dents out. But here's where I really fucked up. You can see like screwdriver hole and then it's kind of bent in right there. It goes all the way up here. What happened was this piece of metal went behind the door. So every time I tried opening the door, it would like open and then bend this part back. And then it would make this big popping sound. So I had to get a screwdriver and pry it out and all that bullshit. But I mean, it looks fine now. It don't make no sounds when I open it and yeah, you just gotta live with it. Also, I hit a mailbox. Yeah, that shit sucks. So yeah, that shit sucks pretty bad. I, I made a big deal about it when it first happened. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a huge dent, but really it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's got scratches all up and down the truck. It's a work truck, so I shouldn't really worry about it that much. I don't know, I just, eh, I don't like dents like that. But oh fucking well. Fuck, I spit on my camera. 
But also another thing I got for my truck is a new amp for my subs. I'll show y'all that shit real quick. All right, y'all, move my truck up front because my neighbors went outside and I'm just weird. I don't like recording in front of people. I don't know, I'm just a weird sack of shit. But here's the new amp, it's a Boss something amp. Lexi's brother traded me amps because he's getting a new truck and he had to sell a system with his other car. So he's like, hey, my amp's better than yours. Why don't we just trade? So, you know, I got this amp now. But I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of the new amp. Let's start my truck here so don't make my battery die. Windows are down so we don't pop our ear sockets. But this last one is gonna be the story about me almost dying. I'm just gonna tell y'all the story because there's really nothing to show about it except for the wire. I'll show y'all the wires after. But what happened was I was picking Lexi up from school and I whip up at her house, right? And then in her windows, I see the reflection of my truck and my light bar's on. I was like, what the hell? So I grab my little remote and I'm clicking it on and off. The buttons aren't showing up. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Maybe this button went bad. Kept trying to turn it off, it wouldn't turn off. I even got this little thing, tried to change the colors. Colors wouldn't change. So when I parked it, I popped my hood to see if the wires are messed up or something. And then I see smoke rising out of my hood. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And I smelled this awful smell. I didn't know what the smell was. Didn't know what it was coming from. I was like, fuck. So I pop the hood, I look under it and just smoke rising everywhere. I'm like, what, what, what is this shit? So I walk away from my truck for a second and I don't remember what I was doing and Lexi screams, it's on fire! I was like, what, what the fuck's on fire? She said, your truck's on fire! So then I fucking run to my truck, I look at it, there's just a flame just coming off. My light bar wire, and I put it over my engine and then put it into my little fucking hole down there by the gas pedal and shit. And my wire was just fucking in flame, just burning up. I blew it out and I was like, damn, thank God. And then it just all of a sudden, light bar kicks back on. And burns up. I'm like, what the fuck? So I blew it out again, got me some wire cutters, snipped the wire, threw it aside. I just pulled all the damn wires off and fucking went to school. Was late because of it. So yeah, my truck was fucking on fire because of this light bar. I mean, I'm not gonna blame the light bar harness. I'm not sure what caused it. I don't know if it's my dumb ass because it was by the EGR valve. I'm pretty sure that the wire was just sitting on the EGR valve and then the outer coat of the wire melted and then it grounded out on that metal which caused the fire. But it was probably my dumb ass. I'm not gonna blame the light bar because you know it's a high quality light bar and it came with a high quality harness so you know it's more than likely my dumb ass with my poor w wiring skills so yeah just let that be a lesson to y'all don't fucking wire up your light bar over your engine make sure you put it away from your engine don't make it touch any metal because that shit will happen it will catch on fire and fucking kill you because if lexi wouldn't have said it's on fire I wouldn't have realized nothing. I would have just closed my hood and drove to school and my truck would have just been in flames It could have like went into my engine or something just fucking blew the thing to pieces blew me up killed me So yeah, make sure you're not a dumbass if you wire your light bar make sure you're uh, pretty good at wiring Same thing for subs any wires, you know make sure Yeah, but I'm gonna show you all right quick the wire was hanging over here And it was touching this EGR valve right here And I'm pretty sure it like grounded out right here on this middle and that's what caused the fire There's the wire hanging down there I'm not sure if you can see it or not where I cut it right there But yeah, if you're gonna wire something make sure you do something like this make sure it's not touching the engine like I did with my subs All safe and bullshit. But yeah, y'all that's the end of today's oh fuck. But yeah, y'all that's Stay I need a fucking Joby tripod But yeah, y'all, that's the end of today's video. It's just a little truck update, all the new shit that I've done to my truck since I've had a last truck update. Yep. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Our long-term goal for every video, 1,000 likes. I should have hit 1,000 likes. Try to, try to hit 1,000 likes on this video. and <coughs> Be much appreciated. Fuck you, car, with your loud-ass tires and shit. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're about to hit 50,000 subs, which you know what that means. At 50,000 subs, I've said for fucking ever, I will eat a full can of dip for 50,000 subs. So yeah, we're less than 2,000 away right now, so... Fuck.
Oh yeah, I almost forgot. If y'all want a video on me installing this uh, tail light thingy, it's a tail light strip. It goes under your tail light and it's like a brake light. It's just a little strip of lights and you, it's like sticky, you stick it under there and it's like a brake light. So if y'all want a video of me installing that, just let me know and I'll do it. I'll try to get a promo code from that company because I'd like to get promo codes from every company just to save my fans money and shit. Just in case y'all want something that's on my truck, you know, I'll just, yeah, I'll give me a promo code so you can save some money from it. <laughs> also follow me on Instagram at redneck.tv. Funny, hilarious shit over there. Follow it. If you don't, you're a homo. <laughs> also, I want to give a huge shout out to American Snow. American Snuff is a YouTuber. He's a fucking badass dude. He's one of my greatest friends on YouTube that's a dipper in the dipping community. So make sure you go show his channel some love. Make sure you subscribe to him. I mean, if like me and him all the way since I was at like 400 subs, we've been friends. So I mean, come on, subscribe to him. Fucking do it! Are you really that big of a lazy sack of fuck that you won't even click off my video, search American Snuff in the YouTube search, or just scroll into my description, click on his link to his channel, and hit the subscribe button? Are you that much of a lazy fuck that you won't do that? Do it! Now, for real, let's try to get him to 4,000 subs. I mean, at least 4,000, because he's really dang close, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna do something really funny and crazy for 4,000 subs, so yeah, make sure you get him to that. And make sure on his latest video you say, Redneck TV sent me to you know, make him feel like, oh, he gave me a shout out. Oh, I'm so happy. You know, just to show him love, you know, give him a few likes and all that bullshit. So yeah, I'd really appreciate that if y'all did. And if you don't, I'm pretty sure your ball sack will turn into a pussy. So yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd recommend subscribing so that don't happen. And remember, always keep on dipping and keep on spit. <sighs> Hello.